Now, usually I don't do this, man, but I got to talk about it today. Matthew Stafford is feeling no pressure to win his first playoff game. Let's talk about it. Hello everyone, my name is Derek and welcome back to the Gridiron Blitz on this channel, predominantly Detroit Lions content, but we love the game, so we do NFL live streams, we got the playoffs coming up tomorrow, and we also do college and some USFL when it returns or comes in April. So, I tend to, I just, I stay Detroit, man, but sometimes, sometimes we gotta talk about it, sometimes we gotta get out of the city and sometimes, I really don't like talking about former players to try to bring them back to correlate to this channel. I'm going to keep it 100. This is a about a former player, Matthew Stafford, who says he has no pressure. He feels zero pressure to win a playoff game. Now, I think that's absolutely hilarious. We know Matthew Stafford is cold-blooded. He wanted to be in these big games. That's what he said. He said he didn't get enough here in the D. So he got all of these games coming up, okay? He, he got all these – his whole season this year has been nothing but big since January. Can you believe it's been a year already since Matthew Stafford agreed to a trade to the L.A. Rams? Now, y'all know how I feel about this whole situation and Matthew Stafford. Matthew Stafford, as a player, is dead to me. But that's okay. That's okay. So he says that – He's, he has no pressure to win a playoff game. Let me get this straight, Matthew. Let me get it straight. You've never won a division title here in Detroit. You win it by default. So Matthew Stafford looks at this as just another game. Now, this information is coming from NFL.com. Matthew Stafford says, quote, Every time I step on the field, I'm proving myself, whether it's a preseason game or a regular season game. Practice a playoff game, he said via ESPN. I want to go out there and play well. This is just another opportunity to do that. Wait a minute, but play well, Matthew Stafford. Of course you want to play well, but are you going to play well? Now, you ended the season with 41 touchdown passes, only behind the Super Bowl champion Tom Brady with 43. But you also tied Trevor Lawrence, who is the quarterback of the worst team in the National Football League with 17 interceptions. So this is the Stafford that you are going to get, the gunslinging, just pedal to the metal, pick six, pick city. It's either going to be touchdowns or interceptions. There is no in-between with Matthew Stafford. But what amazes me is what Sean McVay had to say about his quarterback. Now, we know that Sean McVay had a special hot tub prepared for him and Matthew Stafford, Andrew Whitworth, the skin so soft, the bubbles were just mwah. Sean McVay says that he don't need to win in the playoff game to establish his worth. Well, ain't that about a trip? Because as far as I know, that's why you got the brother, is to not only win a playoff game, which Jared Goff got you, but to win the Super Bowl, which couldn't be done with Jared Goff. And you don't think there's any pressure on Matthew Stafford to win a playoff game? Come on, Sean. Come on, man. Sean McVay goes on to say, I think he's got an established resume. I think that's something you want to be able to do. He was instrumental in leading us to our first divisional title that we've had since 18. And, and that's a big deal. That's a big deal. You won, you won it by default, bro. You won the division by default. You couldn't even handle your business. Come on, man. But now it's the next step. I think that his body of work speaks for itself. And I don't think you can just confine it into, oh, he hasn't won a playoff game. Oh, really? Sean McVay. See that? You know what that sounds like to me, bro? That sounds like a person that doesn't want to put it out there that he might have overreached for Matthew Stafford, that he might have got in that hot tub just a bit too early uh, when it came to Matthew Stafford. So there's no pressure on Matthew Stafford to win a playoff game. It sounds like to me, again, this pedestal that Matthew Stafford has been on from the media, from Sean McVay, that it's kind of crumbling underneath. Now, two things are going to happen here. Matthew Stafford will either win a playoff game and kind of quiet the narrative that he can't win the big games because that's what it is right now. You had a, you could have been a second seed and you laid an egg, bro. You laid an egg through two interceptions like you usually do. Okay, so here's my thing. How can the L.A. Rams say that there's no pressure how can Matthew Stafford you wanted these big games so are you just 
Are you bulletproof? Is that what this is? I mean, we got to see you bleed, brother. Now I know what y'all can say. Matthew Stafford's, a, Matthew Stafford's a warrior, man. He sacrificed everything for. Okay, that's that's all fine and well. He did those things. Like, he did them. In, he do them in LA too. But to say that there ain't no pressure on the man, come on, man, come on. As you can see, very passionate about this. Now I have the Arizona Cardinals beating the LA Rams to send Matthew Stafford packing, still with no playoff win. That will be the division. Check. Home game. Check. Playoff win? No. Even if they get past the Arizona Cardinals, who aren't flying that high themselves, they got a long way to go before Stafford proves his worth to the franchise who, let me remind you, gave up everything for a Super Bowl. Von Miller, Odell Beckham, they went and got... They just brought back Eric Weddle, who was out fishing on a boat somewhere with no signal. They had to fly a helicopter over and airlift him out because he was that far away from the game. This team is trying to win a Super Bowl. That's why they got Matthew Stafford. And to say that there's no zero pressure on him? Come on, man. All I got to say is we're going to see in a little bit. We're going to see. We got about three days. Three days to see. We'll be prepping for that game to see if Matthew Stafford can win his first playoff game. Got a home game. Got a division. So now he can walk away with the nice little hat. Nice little whatever they give him, the little trophy or whatever. But we going to see, bro. I'm just, ooh, this gets me so giddy to talk about this. You see what I'm saying about the, there's no pressure. I think his resume speaks for itself. Are you serious? He's a turnover machine, bro. He leads all, all these stats and no wins of big games. I'm gone. I think I, okay. Rant over. I'm done. I'll see y'all in the next video. Subscribe to the channel, man. Peace. Oh, I forgot. Go Lions.